Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I'm packing for my trip uh, to Idaho to go to my cousin Rudy's wedding. So, Otis, it's me and Otis here, and, uh, and all the taxidermy in my room. But I wanted to show you, like, basically what I take with me and why, um, and all my amazing vintage packing uh, supplies. So the first thing is I have this suitcase which is so cool. Um, it's very very old. It's uh, an old Samsonite four style four six three five, which means a lot in the suitcase world. Um, it has these like it separates stuff from clothes, and so I just want to show you here. So these go over, I don't know exactly what these are for, like one's bendy and one's metal, and then these straps are to go over this stuff, but it separates one side from the other, and then it's got a thing for your pants, to hang your pants on, and it's got two hooks that go right inside, and they come out of the suitcase and go onto any closet, so you can like, I'll have my dress that I'm going to wear to the wedding on this. But, listen, I'm packing very minimal clothing. As you can see, I've not got much at all because I'm trying to leave room for the girls over here. And I will be able to take Claire and Miss Ginger if I have enough space. So basically to me, that means they're coming because I found the space, but I may have to get rid of a couple of things. Okay. So, um, on the other side of this brilliant suitcase, and I want to show you, actually, the, when it's shut, it's so beautiful. It's this very hard, hard shell case, okay? So, that's great in a suitcase because nothing's getting in this sucker, you know? Um, and it's just brilliant. Denver, Colorado, Schweider Brothers, Inc., Samsonite. Um... So yeah, I'll have clothes and then my dollies in there. And uh, on this side, I've got some things. Alright, let's see what we've got. Holy Bible, because I'm going to do some graveyard... Uh, I'm going to do some graveyard work conjure style, okay? Um, I've got a red three-day candle I'm going to burn for my cousin during, you know, like, the minute I get there through their wedding and through the day after. Um, I've got an empty jar here. I've got dried passion fruit skins for an offering at my grandparents' grave, which I'll be visiting. I've got this, which I'll be bringing, and in the top, there's already burned wax with, uh, um, resins inside, so I'm bringing some resins with me this way. And, the tea lights are just packed away in another area. Um, bringing a bottle of kava for my cousin. And yes, of course, Eleanor's coming, but she's not allowed to bring any of her, her treats because she'll lose them. And seriously, I was going to bring a different piece of taxidermy, but like, I would have had to pay for it later, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, I've got this candle, which I'm going to do a working on my grandparents' grave with. This bottle's gonna have menstrual blood in it for the workings that I do so that I can attach to my grandparents' grave. Um, I've got my very special knife my dad gave me. I've got a Sharpie, of course, for my my vigil candles. Matches. Um, oh, right. I haven't smoked a cigarette in years, but I will be taking a couple puffs at my granddad's grave to get it going so that he can smoke it. And that's an offering to him because he was a smoker in his life. Um, I'm also going to be giving him some extra gum because it was his favorite. Um, I might get juicy fruit. He loved that as well. And I have this silver earring I wore for a long time in my life. And now I only have one. So it's, it's pure 925RM silver and come on focus why not why wouldn't you but I wore this on my person for a long time and I feel like and I'm gonna dig a little hole where I take the graveyard dirt from and then I'm gonna bury this so that no one steals it from his grave anybody would steal things from a graveyard is like why would you do that like obviously it's not a good idea 
and you're dealing with the dead whether you believe in, you know, this or that or not. And it's like, realistically, things could follow you home, attach to you, haunt you for all of time. I don't know. Okay. I might be making a hoodoo oil lamp in this on the go. I brought tea lights so that I'll have a wick and stuff. We'll see. But I just, I'm going to really be getting into that. Anyway, these are my graveyard offerings. And um, I've got lots of different things in there. But I'm putting these in there. I tie all my graveyard stuff stuff up in a hanky. Um, and then I've got my cleansing stuff, my abalone shell, my normal size one, Palo Santo, a fresh sage bundle, and that's just kind of all tied up together. And when I talk about tying something hobo style, this is what I mean. Grab two opposite corners and pull, and then grab two opposite corners and pull. And then grab two opposite corners and pull, and then do it once more, and now you've got this, like, satchel, which, if you stuck a stick through it, would look like a hobo bag. Okay, so that's that, and then now I've got my makeup case, and I'll show you what's going on in there. Um, the makeup case is brilliant. I actually can date this piece. Can you see it? There is a movie on Netflix called 1922, and I saw this very case in that movie. So I'm guessing that is historically accurate. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to say that this is as old as that, I would think. Um, so it's got a mirror on the inside, which is lovely. Um, some pockets on the inside. It is also a Samsonite. The style number is 7212. Samsonite luggage. Denver. Okay, so inside here I have my makeups, my Kat Von D makeups, my Sonicare toothbrushes all charged up, some nail polish. I'm going to an event, so I brought kind of like more makeup than I usually do. And then, um, like a hair piece, and oh yeah, I have a brand new pair of lashes and headstone cleaning water. I'm keeping it in this because I know it'll stay safe and straight up. We made this together from the Hoodoo graveyard section. It's got uh, bay, frankincense, and Celtic sea salt. So that's to wash my grandparents' headstone. And then, so that's what's in there. And then also, I'm probably going to be putting right on the top of all this my cousin's gift. Which, it turned out pretty beautifully, guys, after I put the wax on it. It is a bottle, uh, like, a, you know, a witch's bottle, in a very old, beautiful, vintage Buckley bottle. Which I think was either medicine in here originally, or booze. And uh, I've melted some red wax on the top, and then put money oil on it, and my passion oil. I anointed the wax with that. And so it's still soaking into the wax. It's kind of wet on the top. Um... So yeah, it's it's on there. And watch my video on what I put inside of here for a, a wedding gift from a witch. And then here I've got this amethyst chunk and family heirloom oyster shell. Our families were on the beach together one year before me and my cousin were born. And they picked a bunch of oysters and ate them on the beach together. So I'm going to give him this and this for a wedding gift. Um, that's a wedding gift from a witch, right? Okay. And then we've got a couple more pieces of luggage to look through, what I'm bringing. Okay. All right. Ooh, what do we have in here? First of all, I made this briefcase. Like, okay, I went and I thrifted... <laughs> I thrifted the briefcase. And then I put all these stickers on from, like, my favorite show, Bob's Burgers, um... Gosh, Friends, um, Big Bang Theory, I mean, all kinds of stuff. This is Ted Bundy, this is Orange is the New Black, um, yeah, good stuff. And then the other side is more shows that I like. British Show, of course, Peep Show, Inbetweeners, Rosemary's Baby, Skins, uh, Mr. Bean, um, oh, Peep Show... Strangers with Candy, Peep Show, Doctor Who, um, absolutely fabulous. So I'm really representing Great Britain on here. The Shining, um, 
And yeah, I'm just a fun, fun girl. There's some true blood on there. This is a good one. The Legend of Furlough. Remember the screwdriver in Orange is the New Black? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so what's inside of here? What What is it? This is also a Samsonite piece. I don't think it's very old though. And also in the show In Betweeners, they call him a briefcase wanker, which is so funny, like that it's a briefcase and I have that sticker on here. Okay, so inside the briefcase is this. Empty jars, a bunch of them. Some of them are already pre-labeled. One of them's pre-labeled for my granddad's heart, and that's where his heart lays in the gravestone. Where you think his heart would be, you pull dirt from there. I have a place where I'm gonna pull dirt from his feet and pull dirt from his head, okay? If he was, and, and actually he was a carpenter, he was great with his hands, so I'm actually going to pull dirt from where his hands would be as well. I just thought of that, I got to remember to do it. I have a jar full of tea lights and a lighter for outdoor, off. oh, and, a, and another offering to my granddad. Um, rose hips make great offerings because they are, they have seeds of roses in them. So anywhere you leave these for an offering, roses might grow. Um, and I've got two different packs of incense in here, like I said, my Adame and a backup lighter. Never want to be without fire. So that's what's in here. And the briefcase opens up actually, and there's like, you know, you can organize your stuff if you were a businesswoman. Um, when I did massage, this was my briefcase when I had to like do it professionally and stuff. Now I do it not so professionally and stuff. All right. Okay, and then lastly is probably like, you're like, Jen, I haven't seen any books. What would you do without your books? Here's the thing, guys. <laughs> you haven't seen many herbs, and I didn't take many, um, because I have to try to pack light, because I'm gonna bring a lot of things back. Um, so the last thing is like my car bag and the things that I'm going to be having in the car. So let's see what's in here. And I don't know if it's a Samsonite. It's like a woman's like, I guess it's leather or maybe it's just vinyl. It is, a, oh, it's an American. Um, so we've got CDs for the car ride, loads of CDs. We've got these fully charged up wireless headphones. <clears throat> We've got sewing stuff because I'm going to be sewing in the car. Um, some red flannel pouches out of that conjure book. So I've got a bunch of red flannel stuff to do in the car, you know. And in here is, uh, I'll just show ya, my bips and bobs and threads and whatnot. Right there. It called for some blue and red thread. Uh, one's blue and one's red for different workings. So I've got that all there. Um, what else is going to come out of this bag? A uh, bunch of like places I want to stop by on the road trip, like notes for myself, and a bunch of just scrap paper so that in the books I can take notes and write. Also, in every book that I brought, because I read a lot on the road trips. I put a bunch of, I put like three pieces of paper in each book. That way I can take notes on the book. And I've got, of course, my crystal elixir water bottle. And we'll be bringing a big jug of water with us, even though um, Uncle Ike's got great water. I just want some water from home. Earbuds for when the headphones die. A highlighter for my books. And the books I've decided to bring are, gotta get through this. And these, the earth power and this one are brand new to me, so I'm going to just be highlighting my guts out in the car, planning out videos. This is like my herbal bible, so I have to have this. And if anybody emails me a question, I'll have this on hand, so you guys can still ask me questions. I can still help you 
fashion things. I wouldn't let you guys miss lore, so Saturday is the night of the wedding, but at some point in the day I'll be getting some lore in. However, I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know when I'll get them uploaded. And all these books have, like I say, big chunks of paper in them, so I can take notes. And we're going to a place with lots of animals, so I, when I run into one, I want to immediately look it up and see why my spirit guides, or why the universe showed it to me. <clears throat> and then lastly, this is that second book I have on Conjure and Hoodoo. And that's all the stuff I'll be bringing. I'm sure I'll throw in something different here or there or along the way or whatever, but um, that's what we've got. Thanks for joining me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, to uh, watch me pack for my trip, yeah? In all this beautiful vintage suitcasings. Have a great day, you guys. Lovely to see you.